So you're applying for a new job. Maybe you've already received a new job offer, but you're not 100% sure if you should take the job. Stick around. In this video, I'll be sharing five warning signs you should not take the job. Because what's the point in taking a job now, then six months down the line realizing that you should have never have taken it in the first place and then wanting to leave again. My name is Iris Smith, helping you find a new job you love and craft a career that works for you. And if you want a little bit of help from me to say goodbye to unfulfilling and stressful jobs that leave you feeling hollow, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell right next to it so you get a new notification every Wednesday when a new video lands right here on my channel. Over the years, I've helped hundreds of corporate professionals successfully change careers and find a new job they love. But what sometimes happens, especially when people are really fed up with their current job, is that they become so keen to move on from their current situation that they go after or even accept a job that's just not right for them. Which then turns into a downward spiral where they feel even more stuck, more demotivated and more disillusioned. But they feel that they can't leave this new job that I just started or they become so paralyzed because they get so confused by the whole situation that they just don't know what to do anymore and they're afraid to make a wrong decision. And the sad thing is that all of this could have been prevented in the first place by spotting the warning signs to not take a job in the first place. Curious? I thought so. Here's warning sign number one. You have an off feeling about the job or company. You know that feeling, right? When something's just not quite right, but you can't put your finger on it and you can't really articulate it. Something's just off. Well, if you feel that way about the job or company in question, then as a rule of thumb, I'd say don't go for it because your heart often knows things before your head has figured it out. Now write that down on a post-it note and post it on your bathroom mirror so you see it every morning and evening when you brush your teeth. I'll repeat it. Your heart often knows things before your head has figured it out. Warning sign number two, you're chasing the money. If one of the main reasons why you're going after this job or tempted to take it is because it pays so well, then run, run, run away as fast as you can. But look, I get it. Landing or having a high paying job feels good. It can give a real sense of pride and accomplishment and who doesn't like to have financial independence and have enough money so you don't have to worry about what you spend it on. Here's the thing though, research has shown that how much you earn is a terrible predictor of job satisfaction. Earning more doesn't make you enjoy the work you do more or give you greater job satisfaction. And despite this, a lot of people make career choices based on money because it's so common to overestimate how much satisfaction a high salary will bring you. Now, you might be hearing this and thinking, well, Iris, that's all well and good, but my employer is paying me peanuts and I should be earning a lot more than I do. So yeah, if I find another job that pays me better, then that will make me happier. Now, I hear you. Here's the thing with money and work though. Money is a neutralizer which means that if you don't get paid fairly for your work or how much you believe you should get paid, then you tend to feel unhappy about that. But on the flip side, if you do get paid fairly or how much you believe you should get paid, then that doesn't automatically make you happy about the work you do. It will just make you feel neutral or okay about your work. You know, nothing to complain. So don't chase the money thinking that it will make you enjoy your work more. Now let me know in, in the comments, how do you feel about money and work? Have you ever taken a job because it pays so well or has it been one of the main reasons why you've taken a job? Now, full transparency, I know I have and guess what? Whilst it initially did feel good to do well financially, it ultimately didn't make me happy. Warning sign number three, it's an exit job. If you're feeling fed up in your job or just really stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in, then you probably just want to get out. And it can be really tempting, really, really, really tempting to just take the first thing that comes on your path. That, my friend, is what I call an exit job. So there are dream jobs, good enough jobs and exit jobs. And an exit job only serves to get you out of your current job. It's the first opportunity that comes along and your heart's often not in it, but at least it's better than what, you, than what you're currently doing. 
Now, you don't have to make your next step your dream job, but don't make an, make an exit job either. Instead, go for a good enough job. This is a job that might not be that dream job, but at least it's a good step in the right direction. Perhaps it's a job that can open doors to something that you really want to do. Or perhaps it's a job that just simply gives you the time, headspace or financial means to figure things out and transition into something that you'll love. Now, I've done an entire video on more do's and don'ts like this one when it comes to changing careers and I recommend you go check it out. I recommend you watch it after you finish watching this video. Warning sign number four, you have to compromise on something that's really important to you. So let's say that one of the main reasons why you want to leave your current job is because the fast paced nature, the long hours and the pressure to always be on is taking its toll on you. Now, you're not 100% sure what else you want to do, but you do know that you don't want all your waking hours to be consumed by work. So you found this new opportunity that sounds really promising, but here's the thing. It's still in a super fast paced environment. The hours won't be as relentless, but you still always have to be on and it's still gonna be a demanding job. It's a stressful job where you always have to be on. My advice, don't do it. What's the point in leaving one job and swapping it for something that quite honestly is gonna be quite similar? If you're leaving because of the insane pressure and the long hours, don't take another job if you need to make compri compromises on what's most important to you, time and headspace. So figure out what's most important to you. That could be the time, that could be the headspace, that could be the opportunity to work from home three days a week, it could be the opportunity to work part-time. Figure it out and make those things that are really, really important to you your non-negotiables, period. Warning sign number five, the hiring manager is rude. So you've gone for a job interview and the hiring manager was rude. Maybe they were belittling. Maybe they seemed uninterested. Maybe it was just something about their general attitude. Maybe they constantly kept on checking their phone without telling you beforehand that they were expecting an important phone call. Whatever it is, if the hiring manager, your potential boss, isn't treating you with the dignity and respect that you deserve during an interview, walk away. If they're rude during an interview, can you imagine what they might be like as a boss? So walk, no, run away as fast as you can. So there you go. These are the five warning signs you should decline a job offer. If this has made you think, but Iris, tell me, how do I then choose the right job? Make sure you tune into my live class, how to choose the right job or career when changing careers. In this live class, I'll be sharing this three-step process to help you figure out what type of job or career is right for you. I'll share the link to sign up for this live class in the description box below this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been a real pleasure serving you. And if you like this video, then please, please, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you never have to miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, if you want more right now, then make sure you check out this video in which I'm sharing three strategies to help you figure out if you should hand in your notice and do something else.